with me, guys. Uh, I come out of the Word of Faith, New Apostolic Reformation, very hyper charismatic movement of Christians that believe that apostles and prophets are for today, okay, and that uh, you as a member of a church need to submit to your pastor, who is more than likely an apostle or a prophet, uh, to some degree, and then they submit to another apostle or prophet, and then there's kind of this pyramid, Amway pyramid scheme top down where it eventually leads up to the top where you have like the grand huba of apostles or prophets, the, the, the apostle. Um, so it is a, a massive network of apostles and prophets. And in this, because you have all these people that are claiming to hear the voice of God, um, we have an open canon in the sense that they just, they keep coming out with new revelations uh, new words from God, new doctrines, new theology, um, and it just continues to spiral into something that uh, Jesus never intended. Um, and so we start getting all kinds of strange theologies like the seven mountain mandate, uh, the idea that we as Christians need to conquer these seven different key areas uh, in our society, and I, I'm going to miss one of one or two of them, but it's like government, education, arts, family, media, church, media, and something else. Um, and so, and we're, uh, you know, what militarily was that the other one, or am I making that up? I'm not sure. I'd have to. Yeah, nobody quote me on that one. Uh, there's there's a seventh area, but anyway, then they have the idea of dominionism that we as Christians are supposed to take dominion of the earth before Christ comes back. We're to dominate. We're to take over um, the whole earth. So actually, rather than what we see in the Book of Revelation, where things continue to spiral and get worse and worse, uh, and, and all these events take place, these judgments, and then Christ returns. And by the way, uh, the book of Revelation clearly shows that uh, the Antichrist is, is winning. Okay, He's in the winning position. Uh, and then Christ comes back and shuts that down. Um, they have it where Christians take over and uh, dominate, take the earth, and then basically present it to Christ. Um, but it, it 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 becomes the birthing ground of so many bizarre doctrines, crazy ideas, and of course you can you can roll in the the uh, um, positive confession rolls into this movement, um, the prosperity gospel, uh, covering theology, the idea that you must blindly submit to your pastor. Uh, so th a lot of these churches really feel like a cult. They really feel like a cult because you must submit to the prophetic words of your pastor and anything they say, you got to do that. Um, and so anyway, I, I didn't want to go too far into this, but that is the foundation. That is the worldview behind the passion translation. Um, and then, okay, so now what kind of stuff do we find in that translation? Yeah. And I, I just wanted to piggyback on the, the covering theology part is probably the turning point of why I included this group in my book. Um, the testimonies oh, geez, the of individuals that I was listening to on your podcast, as well as I uh, started searching on the internet elsewhere, um, I was seeing the exact same type of experience and uh, things that were going on as with all of these other groups. And so it made it undeniable that they, they're practicing mind control and using covering theology as a big part of it. Mm -hmm. I have somebody that uh, I'm in conversation with right now who uh, their parents basically just tried to pull the whole covering theology car card on them uh, to get them to make a certain decision and just tore them up inside. Mm -hmm. you know? Tell me about your next up and coming book. Well, um, I felt like the most appropriate spinoff uh, from sharing Jesus with the Colts was to basically take all of the verses, start at least with all the verses I mentioned in the index or I've covered in the book, and then take a look at how the groups that I mentioned specifically in the book that have their own translations. So 
focusing in on the clear word version for the seven day Adventist, the new world translation for the Jehovah's Witnesses, the passion translation for the new apostolic reformation and Joseph Smith translation for the Mormons. And then also seeing what I can do, and it might have to go into another book with science and health with key to the scriptures, because it's not quite a translation of the Bible, but I wanted to bring out at least because she has a glossary mm -hmm. in there that basically you're supposed to, these are the definitions of all these biblical terms. But, and I wanted to be able to show at least how, if you apply those definitions to a biblical text, how much of a train wreck it would be. Um, so I, I wanted to at least do that. And then there's people who were asking me, are you going to do the message? Are you going to do this or that? And so we'll see. We'll see how it ends up. Um, this time around, I wanted to, uh, because there's cost involved with getting it edited and formatted and cover art and all that kind of stuff. And so this time around, I wanted to see if there was people out there who wanted to partner with me. Uh, I have a Patreon account that's set up where I, you get goodies from me for donating to me. Um, and so there's, in, including a free copy of my book um, at the $10 a month level, um, you get the free access to sharing Jesus with the coal. So a lot, as well as a lot of other articles and, uh, you know, YouTube benefits, all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to see if there's people who wanted to partner with me, not just in financial ways, but prayer wise, giving input as I'm creating stuff, I would be putting it out there for them so they can play part in editing and telling me, you know what, that doesn't sound quite right. Maybe you should think about this and be able to have their name in the, in the final copy and possibly even on the back, you know, if, when, if they give a recommendation, whatever. Sure. So, so that's, the, that's the idea. I, I, the, I, the title I have in mind is Twisted and kind of a subtitle, how the cults uh, and their translations misrepresent scripture. Cool. That's great. That is awesome. Count me in. Yeah. I'm all over that. So yeah, very cool. Um, when do you think you might, uh, I know that it's, it's way too early to be asking this question, but when do you think you're going to roll this book out? How long out do you think it might be? Oh man, I, I would say that I need to give it at least a year. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you don't want to rush this kind of stuff. Yeah, and that's really also the value of um, the people who are participating can feel like they're getting the content almost as if as it's coming out, mm -hmm. as the discoveries are being made, and kind of like this is like the first stage, you know, in a sense of kind of hitting some of the major, you know, faux pas that come up in these translations. Um, and uh, some of the research that guys like Matt Slick have done and uh, other articles and websites. And so we'll just be hitting some of those today just to get a feel for why this is necessary. But I, I envision it just like I do my first book, that it's not a book that people are going to sit down and just like read, you know, like a novel. But it's a reference book that would have lots of good indexes so that when you find yourself talking you know, to a Mormon or Jehovah's Witnesses that you can look back and go, wait, okay, so I thought I understood what they were talking about, but now I have a better idea of mm -hmm. where they're coming from or like what that word meant to them, th those kind of things. That's great. That's yeah. great. We always need more reference works. And um, this would be something that's desperately needed. Um, I, I would be a little intimidated and scared to try and tackle the message translation because the entire thing, I mean, it's, it's the ultimate paraphrase. I, it, there is nothing in that translation that even partially resembles the actual word of God. It is a disaster. And you could probably put together a whole like multi-volume set just <laughs> translation well and that's where i i want to be clear that i'm not looking to create like a genesis 1 to revelation 22 right. comprehensive this is every time that they re 
translate or reinterpret the scripture. The other thing that I want to do as well as um, going to these translations to show is actually go into their official websites. And if I, if you type in now, the LDS are really great about this. The JW mm -hmm. also, some of the Avis a little bit less, but if you go to their websites and see from their own words of their own official teachings of how they understand these verses, mm -hmm. then that would bring out another level of how they twist it. Because sometimes it's not necessarily in the translation itself, but it's also in what they've done with it. Right, right. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Totally agree. And um, that way it's not my opinion about what they teach. It's straight from their translation, straight from their website, straight from their prophet. Mm -hmm. and so they, if you show it to them, then there's not a whole lot that they can. That's exactly right. And now you, you've got it straight from the horse's mouth. Right. I'm really looking forward to your book. Really looking forward to it. Yeah. Let me know as soon as you have that, um, that uh, page where people can um, sew in and be a part, basically be a it, partner in what it, you're it's doing. Up. It's oh, up. it is up. Yeah. No, so where do we find it? Uh, so those who are not familiar with YouTube, um, a lot of YouTubers use this. It's a Patreon. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com. And then backslash people of the free gift. And that'll take you right to my page. And there's different tiers that you can enter in um, and uh, monthly donations starting at $1 a month, $5, $10. And there's different, <clears throat> different levels that give you access to different materials that I put on there on a regular basis. And so okay. you give and you get back 